The first real images of Pluto. What have we discovered? The New Horizons spacecraft flew around Pluto at a distance of 7,800 miles, collecting the first ever close-up photographs of the distant and mysterious planet. These images have opened up a new perspective to scientists. We, the common people, also have numerous curiosity about Pluto. So why not discuss what we have discovered about the dwarf planet? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, and today we are going to discuss something out of the world. Something around Pluto. Do watch the video till the end to know some interesting facts. Pluto, formerly thought to be the ninth and the farthest planet from the Sun, is now the solar system's largest known dwarf planet. It's also one of the largest known members of the Kuiper Belt, a mysterious zone beyond Neptune's orbit considered to be home to hundreds of thousands of stony frozen planets each larger than 62 miles in diameter, as well as a trillion or more comets. Pluto is a dwarf planet located beyond Neptune's orbit in the Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped area of frozen worlds. There could be millions of these frozen objects in our solar system's far reaches, known as Kuiper Belts, Objects, or KBOs, or Trans-Neptunian Objects, aka TNOs. Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, which was widely regarded as a demotion. Since then, the subject of Pluto's planet status has sparked a debate in the science community as well as among the general public. In 2017, a group of scientists, including New Horizon mission members, proposed a new definition of planethood based on round objects in space smaller than stars, which would increase the number of planets in our solar system from 8 to around 100. Strange deviations in the orbits of Neptune and Uranus, which suggested that another world's gravity was tugging at these two planets from beyond, first detected signs of Pluto's existence in 1905 by American astronomer Percival Lovell. In 1915, Lovell predicted the location of the mystery planet, but he died before it was discovered. Clyde Tombaugh of the Lovell Observatory was the first to discover Pluto in 1930, based on forecasts by Lovell and other astronomers. Pluto was named after the Roman deity of the underworld by 11-year-old Vanessa Burney of Oxford, England, who offered the name to her grandfather. The name was later given to Lovell Observatory by her grandfather, Percival Lovell, whose initials are Pluto's first two letters. He is also honored by the name. Pluto's size and surface conditions were unknown due to its great distance from Earth until 2015, when NASA's New Horizons space probe completed a close flyby of the dwarf planets. Pluto has a diameter of 1,473 miles, or 2,370 kilometers, less than one-fifth the diameter of Earth and only about two-thirds the width of Earth's moon. According to New Horizons, astronomers have now seen details on the surface of the solar system's farthest known planet, Pluto. For the first time since its discovery 66 years ago, clear images acquired with the European Space Agency's Faint Object Camera FOC, aboard NASA's Hubble Space Telescope revealed these characteristics. Almost a dozen distinct albedo features or provinces are also shown in the photos, none of which have ever been observed before. Hubble is giving us our first tantalizing sight of Pluto when we get there, said Alan Stern of the Southwest Research Institute's Boulder, Colorado Research Office. Stern headed an imaging team that included Lavelle Observatory's Mark Bowie and the University of Texas at Austin's Lawrence Trafton. They took over a dozen high-quality visible and ultraviolet photographs of Pluto with the faint object camera as the planet revolved through 6.4 days in mid-1994. These photos have now been processed and reduced in size. The advanced camera, which was scheduled to be placed on Hubble in 1999, is expected to provide slightly better photos of Pluto. Until space probes make the long journey across the solar system, this will be our best picture of the faraway planets. The photographs will aid in the development of a prospective Pluto flyby mission in the early 21st century. Pluto is the only planet in the solar system that has yet to be visited by a spaceship. A ragged northern polar cap bisected by a black stripe, a bright point seen spinning with a planet, a cluster of dark patches and a brilliant linear marking that the scientific team examined in the photos are among them. The photos confirm the presence of icy bright polar cap features, which were inferred in the 1980s based on indirect evidence for surface marks. The coarse pixels in the four raw photos were smoothed out using image reconstruction techniques, revealing significant zones where the surface is either bright or dark. 
The black strip at the bottom corresponds to the region surrounding Pluto's south pole, which could not be observed since it was oriented away from the Earth at the time of the observations. Pluto's very eccentric orbit can take more than 49 times the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Pluto's distance from the Sun can fluctuate significantly due to the dwarf planet's eccentric orbit, which is far from circular. For 20 years out of Pluto's 248-year orbit, the dwarf planet is closer to the Sun than Neptune, giving astronomers a rare opportunity to study this little frigid faraway world. Pluto overtook Neptune's orbit to become the farthest planet from the Sun in 1999, following 20 years as the eighth planet, in order of distance from the Sun until it was demoted to the status of the dwarf planet. Pluto's surface ice thaw as it gets closer to the Sun, forming a thin atmosphere made largely of nitrogen with some methane. Pluto's atmosphere extends far higher in altitude than Earth's due to its low gravity, which is around 1 20th that of Earth. The majority of Pluto's atmosphere is predicted to freeze and vanish as it travels further away from the Sun. Nevertheless, Pluto appears to be capable of severe winds at a time when it does have an atmosphere. Gravitational waves or air streaming across mountains could explain brightness changes in the atmosphere. Methane and nitrogen make up the atmosphere. Pluto's atmosphere stretches as far as 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers above the dwarf planet's surface, according to New Horizons observations. Pluto's magnetic field is unclear, however the dwarf planet's small size and slow spin suggest it has little or no magnetic field. Pluto's chemical composition is most likely a mix of 70% rock and 30% water ice. The dwarf planet is likely to have a rocky core surrounded by a water ice mantle, with more unusual ices including methane, carbon monoxide and nitrogen ice coating the surface. Pluto rotates backward from east to west in comparison to the other planets in our solar system. 3,670,050,000 miles or over 3 billion is the average distance from the Sun, which is 39.482 times that of Earth. Perihelion, the closest approach to the Sun, is 2,755,773,000 miles, 30.151 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Aphelion, the farthest distance from the Sun, is 4,538,698,000 miles, 48.023 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Charon, Styx, Nix, Kerberos and Hydra are Pluto's five moons, with Charon being the closest and Hydra being the farthest. Astronomers discovered that Pluto has a huge moon roughly half the size of the dwarf planet in 1978. This moon was given the name Charon after the Greek mythological demon Charon, who carried souls to the underworld. Because Charon and Pluto are so similar in size, their orbits are different from those of most planets and moons. Scientists refer to Pluto and Charon as a double dwarf planet, double planet, or binary system because they orbit a point in space that sits between them, similar to the orbits of binary star systems. Pluto and Charon are only 12,200 miles or 19,640 kilometers distant, which is less than the distance between London and Sydney. The orbit of Charon around Pluto takes 6.4 Earth days, and one Pluto rotation, a Pluto day, takes 6.4 Earth days as well. This is due to tidal locking, which occurs when Charon hangs over the same place on Pluto's surface and the same side of Charon always faces Pluto. The New Horizons spacecraft is the first to go up close and personal with Pluto, its moons and other worlds in the Kuiper Belt. It was launched in January 2006, and on July 14, 2015, it successfully reached its closest approach to Pluto. Some of the ashes of Pluto's discoverer, Clyde Tomborg, are carried by the New Horizons mission. New Horizons made history on October 2021 when it delivered the first close-up photographs of Pluto and its moons. The New Horizons spacecraft observed Pluto's surface and discovered a range of features, including mountains reaching as high as 11,000 feet or 3,500 meters, which are equivalent to the Rocky Mountains on Earth, while methane and nitrogen ice blankets are the maximum of Pluto's surface. They aren't strong enough to hold such massive peaks, thus scientists believe the mountains are built on a bedrock of water ice. A massive heart-shaped patch on Pluto's surface, known informally as Tombaugh Regio, is another notable feature named after Clyde Tombaugh Regio, is Latin for the region. Carbon monoxide ice has formed on the region's left side, an area that resembles an ice cream cone within Pluto's heart. Other differences in the composition of surface components have been discovered. 
Topographic features like basins and relatively new impact craters, as on Earth's moon, may be responsible for some of the dramatic fluctuations throughout Pluto's surface. The majority of the surface characteristics, on the other hand, are most likely the result of a complex distribution of frosts that migrate across Pluto's surface in response to its orbital and seasonal cycles. The lighter parts have the brilliance of fresh Colorado snow, whereas the darker areas have the brightness of dirty snow, Stern said. The darkest areas are most likely hydrocarbon leftovers formed when ultraviolet sunshine and cosmic rays contact the chemically diverse surface ices. The New Horizons team has named a smooth region in the center left of Tombo Regio Sputnik Planum, after Earth's first artificial satellite, Sputnik. This portion of Pluto's surface is devoid of craters, generated by meteorite impacts, implying that it is quite young geologically, a little more than 100 million years old. Likely, geologic processes are still shaping and changing this area. Dark streaks a few kilometers long and oriented in the same direction can also be seen on these frozen fields. The lines are likely caused by the dwarf planet's surface being buffeted by strong winds. Pluto's crust may also contain complex organic molecules, according to data discovered by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. At minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit, Pluto's surface is one of the coldest regions in the solar system. It is minus 232 degrees Celsius. When compared to previous photographs, Hubble Space Telescope scans of Pluto revealed that the dwarf planet had gotten redder over time, presumably due to seasonal fluctuations. Pluto may have or may have had a subsurface ocean, however the evidence for this is still inconclusive. The existence of a subterranean ocean could have a significant impact on Pluto's history. Scientists discovered that the zone of Sputnik Planitia altered Pluto's direction due to the volume of ice in the area, which was so dense that it influenced Pluto as a whole. New Horizons assessed the ice to be around 6 miles thick or 10 kilometers thick. The best explanation for the evidence, according to the researchers, is a subterranean ocean. However, less likely alternatives include a thicker ice layer or rock motions. Some scientists believe Pluto could support life if it had a liquid ocean and adequate energy. That's all for today. Hope you all liked this video. If you do, then like it and don't forget to share it with your friends and near ones. If you are new to our channel, do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you will not miss any of our future videos. Stay healthy, be positive, spread humanity.